For case three, we have a 64-year-old man with coagulation disorder, transient numbness, and right upper extremity weakness and right visual changes. So there are going to be multiple images in this case. I'll just scroll through some of them. These are from a coronal flare. These are post-contrast images from the same patient. I've put a triangle here to slow us down a bit. I want you to have a pretty good idea of what the diagnosis is by this point. Now I'll show you some additional images. These are from an MR or venogram rather. Finally, I'll just show you this one image again here. So a couple more post-contrast images that you can see. So your first question is, what's the diagnosis? Your second question is, which of these is a risk factor for this diagnosis? So these should be kind of a clue for what you're dealing with here. So just think about that. What we have here is a case of dural venous thrombosis. Uh, this is an occlusion of one of the draining veins of the brain. These can either involve the large venous sinuses or smaller cortical veins. There's a number of risk factors and we'll talk a little bit about that more. Uh, the worst feared complication is a venous infarct or hemorrhage. Uh, the treatment for these is anticoagulation, uh, first starting off with heparin and then transitioning to oral anticoagulation. Even if the patients have hemorrhage, it's the treatment is still to go ahead with anticoagulation. Here you have some flare images. You see on this flare image, this transverse sinus here, or the transverse sigmoid junction here is 2T2 hyperintense compared to the other sign. So you see that right sinus is abnormal. Here you can see on the MRA portion that I gave you second, uh, you're missing this entire transverse and sigmoid sinus here, uh, whereas you have the transverse sigmoid and jugular here. Uh, so you're missing that on the contralateral side. Just a couple more images here. You can see this venous drainage is completely absent. Here you see on the post-contrast images, you have a delta sign here. So you have this filling defect in the right uh, transverse and sigmoid sinuses there. Now, which of these abnormalities is a risk factor for this? Uh, it's all of the above. Any of these things make you hypercoagulable. Uh, so these are all potential causes. There are a number of other causes as well. Uh, here's a list of all the specific uh, risk factors for hypercoagulability. So it's such a long list. I mean, you can't even, can't even think about it really. But uh, a number of things cause hypercoagulability. So uh, you think about that sort of workup if you're seeing this sort of abnormality or if you're concerned.